all the sensitive questions about bikini waxing so you don't have to. Celebrity waxing expert Jody Chase, who's known in Hollywood as the queen bee of waxing, is going to give us all the answers. What type of hair is best for bikini wax and how should we prep? Any type of hair is great for bikini waxing, whether it's light, dark, curly, straight, any kind of hair we can wax up. The best way to prepare for a bikini wax is shower the night or the day before, exfoliate your skin, maybe take an Advil or a Motrin 20 minutes before, and you should trim your hair down to about a quarter of an inch. I know you're not supposed to get a bikini wax when you're overly tired because you're too sensitive, but when else should I avoid getting one? Don't do it for the first time the day before your wedding. You'll be in for a big surprise. Don't do it four days before or after your menstrual cycle. Your skin is just too sore. If you're tired or hungover, you're going to feel it more. How do I ensure I have the safest, cleanest bikini waxing experience? When I go into a facility, I'm going to look in the room. I'm going to look at how clean the wax looks. Is there a wooden stick in the wax? Not a good sign. The whole area has to be clean. The wax has to be hot. The wax should be covered in between each client. There should be medical table paper on the bed. If my technician offers to trim my hair, that's a big danger sign to me. It's not allowed and it's unhygienic. What's the truth behind double dipping? If you're using a wooden spatula, you want to make sure that wooden spatula goes into the wax, onto the client and then into the trash. Because a wooden spatula can't be sterilized. A metal spatula can be used on a client and reapplied. However, you have to sanitize it and you have to clean it for each client. It can get really confusing between the different types of bikini waxes. So can you clarify the four main types? There's the traditional wax, which is basically a tidy up. Anything that would stick outside of a bathing suit, bikini or underwear, we take off. Then you have the French or in betweeny. That's just a little bit more. We go in a little bit more, but we don't take everything off. Then you've got the Playboy wax. The Playboy wax is absolutely everything taken off except for your desired shape on the top. Then you get into the Brazilian wax. The Brazilian wax is absolutely everything. How long will a bikini wax last? A bikini wax will last anywhere from two to four weeks. If you've been waxing a long time, you're going to see much longer results. A major concern with waxing is ingrown hairs. So what's your best way to deal with that? Learn how to exfoliate properly, whether you use a dry loofah brush or whether you use salicylic acid, glycolic acid, which gets in and clears your follicles out. It's all about the exfoliation. After waxing, let your skin breathe for at least 24 hours. Don't go out and put on your tightest pants or go to a spinning class. It's just going to irritate your skin. If you have fair sensitive skin, expect to be sensitive for about 12 to 24 hours. If you're a seasoned waxer, you might be okay after you get up from the table. How soon after can you get intimate? You really want to let your skin rest to avoid any kind of irritation. Wait 12 to 24 hours before you become intimate. However, if you don't feel sore and you are a seasoned waxer, I say go ahead and enjoy yourself. Just remember, the quickest way that you'll get an infection is not during the wax, it's after the wax. So make sure you keep that area down there squeaky clean. These are such great tips. Thank you so much for chatting with us. Thank you very much. There are different options for everyone. You can take off as much or as little as you like. For other hair removal techniques and at-home choices, check out our series on Bella TV. Thanks for watching. Stay beautiful. And visit our Bella TV Facebook page for more tips.